When landscaping, I think the most important thing you should consider is making sure that you have some plans to start with. They, um, they really lead you down the right path. If you don't start off with the plans, you're going to have a lot of issues potentially down the road. So plans are really the way to start your landscaping process. But Jeff, I'm, I'm not clear. Why should we have full plans when other companies uh, are charging a lot less than you do and they include plans with what they're doing? Well, my experience is that when a company is charging a lot less for the plans, what we find is that they're abbreviated plans. And the concern you have with abbreviated plans is that they're lacking a lot of important information because at the end of the day, the plans are a directive for a contractor to help him understand and execute the vision that your designer has for your landscape. So if there's missing information, the problem you run into is that the contractor is put in the position of filling in the blanks themselves. So when you go to get bids from various contractors, what you'll find is uh, two things can happen. One would be that the various contractors come back to you and say, you know what, there's not enough information on this plan for me to give you a valid bid. Those are the experienced contractors mm -hmm. who have been through this. And what happens is they give you a bid, but they have to fill in the blanks. So let's say you don't have an irrigation plan. It's very common for design build firms to not provide you with an irrigation plan because they're going to design it in the field when they're out there doing the construction. So one contractor will come up with his idea of a good irrigation design, and another contractor will come up with their idea of an irrigation design. The problem in that approach is, is that irrigation designs can vary wildly in cost. So somebody who's trying to sell you the job may come in with a cheaper landscape or irrigation design, and another guy who only cares about doing it right will have a much more um, a higher quality and more intricate design. But it could literally double the cost on a lot of projects for the irrigation design alone. And all you're going to know is that this guy bid this number for irrigation and this one bid this price, but you're not really going to understand why because there's nothing quantifiable. To The other part is, is how does a contractor fairly price something that doesn't exist yet? That's one of the biggest reasons I have a problem with that approach is that the, clients, the contractor is giving you a price for this irrigation system it doesn't exist. How does he fairly price something that he can't yeah. quantify yet? And that's why it's not, there's got to be a buffer in there for him, but that's not fair to you. So that's another reason to have the plans done in advance is so that you can fairly quantify it, but also so that contractors can give you apples to apples bids. Mm -hmm. And so whether it's the irrigation system or the plant design or the hardscape or whatever piece of the plan it is, it's the same issue all the way through. Mm -hmm. Can't quantify it unless it's on paper and each person could do something different which gives it a different price point which means you can't truly compare their pricing at all. Mm -hmm. And this is the big one. The plans are the accountability. When the construction starts, and this is the whole reason for this video, this is a way for you to check whether they are following plans that are of a specification that's of a high standard. The inspection part of this video allows you to understand what it should look like and what it should be and then check and make sure it's being done that way. Hmm. But see, if there are no plans, there is no accountability. So now the contractor just has to say, that's the way we always do it. Right. And you have to live with that because you have nothing saying otherwise. So the plans are the whole basis for the accountability to make sure you're being treated fairly and the work is being done correctly. I like the idea of the uh, plans being more detailed and um, perhaps helping us to control price, which is actually another one of the concerns that my wife and I uh, have, um, which is that we're not sure that we can afford a full landscape plan mm. um, all in the first year. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that can be done to help us with that? Sure. A lot of clients ask me in the design phase, um, can, we can we phase the design in? And what I tell them is it's more important to have a full plan that's congruent all the way through, that you've thought the entire yard out and what, the, what it is you want to achieve. So there's an overall continuity and vision and congruence. So 
that let's say you put it into three pieces. You want to make sure that the pieces match up, that the materials are congruent, that the um, underground work has mm -hmm. all been done in advance so that you don't have to tear things up later because you didn't think ahead. So the overall plan allows you to know those things and do them in the correct order. The other big benefit of the plan is that it allows you to get overall pricing. Okay, So even though you're going to phase this thing, um, that's very common, by the way. I would say that 70% or more of my clients phase their projects now because the price has become so high for a full landscape. So what it allows you to do is, let's say you go out to bid and the whole project's going to cost $50,000. And you say, well, this year we can afford $25,000 and then we'll see how it goes from there. That allows the contractor to break out the pieces and give you and figure out what you can do for twenty-five thousand mm dollars. -hmm. So he's going to look at what is his access to the entire yard. You don't want to put in the front yard, and then next year you do the back. But his only way into the back is through that front you mm -hmm. paid for last year. So mm -hmm. access determines a lot of the feasibility of a project but then also knowing all your pieces in advance and then letting the contractor work with you on all the numbers and how to put them together in an affordable way. But without the overall vision of it, yeah. you could think that your project's going to cost 50000 and then when you put the pieces together, it's 70000 So that's the other reason you really want the plan in advance because the plan needs to respond to your overall budget and make mm -hmm. sure that however you phase it in, you still don't exceed a number you never wanted to go to. Yes. See what I mean? Yeah. And that's the reason the design being done all on the front end, that's the cheap part of the whole project. <laughs> but it allows you to get a bigger vision of the long-term process.